Revitalization efforts have breathed new life into downtown Kinston. I'm Anita Brown Graham. This is NC Impact. NC Impact is made possible by funding from Civic Federal Credit Union and is a public media North Carolina production in association with the University of North Carolina School of Government. Kinston, North Carolina suffered from an identity crisis when tobacco and textiles left town. Now Kinston's identity is focused on culture and it could spell a new economic boom. In 2014, Kinston was being plagued with a lot of issues, particularly um, gun violence and poverty were, were two major things going on in 2014. Kinston was once the place, you know, in, in my lifetime, in recent years, Kinston was once the place that, you know, people didn't want to go, people wanted to get away from. But now Kinston is becoming a destination for people to come and visit and shop at and people to come and move to. Over the past couple of years, we've had a lot of people that have moved to Kinston from New York, D.C., Washington State, Virginia, all sorts of places. They're intrigued to live in Kinston because of the, uh, everything that's going on in downtown. One key aspect to a downtown revitalization would be having one special draw, one, one main attraction. For us, it's been kind of a combination of, of the Mother Earth Brewery and the Chef and the Farmer, especially with the a Chef's Life TV show. You know, that gave us national recognition where people were coming here to downtown Kinston for that purpose. I'm definitely optimistic about the future of Kinston. Uh, you know, my goal is for it to be a bustling, thriving small town that has enough to offer that my children might consider settling here. We have the assets to work with and those are valuable assets for downtown. And if you have a healthy downtown, it's healthy and vibrant, it's active, and that health then spreads out to the surrounding neighborhoods. When I travel the world and travel to different places, I always want to come back home because home is what made me, it's what uh, where community really is. And there's so much love about kids and there's so many opportunities and so much potential here. I want to do whatever I can to tap into that potential. Downtown Kinston's rebirth cannot be fully appreciated unless we look back in time. Well, I'd always loved downtown because, I mean, I grew up walking these streets. You literally could come down here and buy everything you wanted from cars at one end to hookers at the other end, you know, at Sugar Hill. So, I mean, you, it was the place to be. What you do to me? You want them already clean and peeled? We had the mass exodus in the late 60s, 70s, where all the stores downtown went out to the mall. And that is 12.75. Downtown was dying, and we didn't know what would get it back. The late 80s to early 90s, that's when our tobacco left, our textiles were leaving, and then um, Kenton slowly started, I say dying, it was almost like a ghost town around here. Some uh, vision from Stephen Hill and Vivian and, and uh, Vivian Howard and Ben Knight, that kind of got it rolling. and has helped all the existing businesses stay down here. The revolving loan is funded by the North Carolina Rural Center, and so they chose seven communities throughout the state, and Kinston was one of the communities that was selected for that. Each community was able to take that and uh, personalize it, including the loan fund. Um, and so ours we call Kickstart Kinston. Thank you. I definitely am excited to be on the wave with everyone. Like just, we're all so much trying to complement one another and not compete. Yeah. So each business that comes, it is very much to complement our town. I love it when they come in because if they make eye contact with me, they're mine. And I'm gonna tell them about Kinston, <laughs> our history and how great Kinston was at one time and how we are bringing it back. Kinston's business growth is linked to culture. Artists supply the creativity and dollars. There's a new program in town to convince even more artists to move to Kinston and start creating. This is when I started doing my notebooks and trying to impress my teachers. Um, I used my art skills. I found out about Smart Kinston uh, 
from a coworker on my first evening uh, at Chef and the Farmer, and he said, this is a great program and you gotta apply for it. Smart Kinston is a program that welcomes artists from all over to Kinston. We get affordable rent. Uh, we also have opportunities to apply for grants and it gives us the time and space to work on our art. We put out a call for applications and people apply from all over the country. Um, and then we bring them in for a weekend to like an orientation, you know, see if they really want to come to Kinston, explain the, the SMART program. There are about 74 houses back here, but um, we only have about 50 so far, 55. There are, are eight artists moving in here in the next um, month. It seems like this arts community and this interest in art and Kinston as a place to come and see art is really gaining momentum. Kinston is different from the metropolitan areas that I grew up in and that I've lived in recently. Um, it's a small town, but I like it. There's no traffic, that's a benefit to begin with. Um, but everybody knows everybody. And for me, I've moved to a town where I know nobody, but a year later, I have a village and a village that's on my side. Uh, and I'm really grateful for them. Visit uncTV.org/ncimpact.